Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here with another holiday card today. I will be using new products from the latest release by Alde New, and these are the Christmas stockings. This is a lovely stamp set that you can create tons of different um, variations of uh, Christmas stockings. You can mix and match all those stamps and you get a booklet where you can see lots of ideas on how you can create and how you can combine all those stamps together. So to start, first I'm going to stamp the outline three times. I decided to have three stockings on my card. So I'm using my permanent ink and I am going to stamp uh, the outline, rotating the paper every time. Now I am using my stamping platform and you can see that I'm not using my magnets at all. I decided that it works better for me when I have some repositionable tape on top of my gray part of the platform. So now I have uh, three outlines there and now I can go ahead and start stamping the inside and I'm going to mix and match all those different stamps together to create three different stockings but at the same time I want to keep uh, everything quite traditional in terms of uh, colors so I will stamp everything just by using two colors the red one is called crimson and uh, the green one is called olive they are both by Altenew now I have uh, used the same stamp to stamp all uh, the top parts of my stockings using different colored inks and now I'm going to choose different designs from the stamp set to fill in the lower part of the stocking. Now as you will see I will try to introduce both colors that I'm working with on all the stockings. So for this one I will go with a complete uh, solid red but you will see that after a while when I finish stamping I will use some embossing and add an extra design on top and for the third one I'm working with uh, the stripes so I went first with the red one and there are uh, uh, thinner stripes as you can see here that I am going to combine and this time I'm going to stamp them with my green one and the last part that I need to stamp is the little loop. This is a tiny little stamp that you can align at the top of the stocking. And I will again use the same colors, red and green, for all three of them. And now that all my stockings are ready, I am going to do some uh, embossing on the red part of this uh, stocking. I was debating on which one of the designs to use. I decided to go with the stars and I'm going to stamp that with my embossing ink and then I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and heat set everything. And now my stockings are all ready to go. I'm going to use the matching die to cut them all out and I'm using my mini blossom which is a die cutting machine by Altenew. Now my cutouts are ready and I'm working on my background. For that I will be using this cover die which is a new product by Alte New. It's called Cozy Flannel and you can see how lovely it would look if I used different colored papers one on top of the other. I decided to go quite subtle for this card so I will go red on red. Now I did add some foam scores as you can see at the back of my cover die cutout. So this is going to help the design to pop a little bit more. Now I'm using my craft knife and I'm cutting out slits at the inside of each and every loop. And now I have some white floss and a needle. And I'm going to thread all three stockings through that floss. And the fact that I already had a tiny little slit in the loop makes my job really easy. And now I can place this piece of thread with the stockings on top of my panel and I'm going to thread those edges underneath that design. You can secure the thread at the back with uh, some uh, tape or some glue. I do have that uh, foam tape at the back so I'm just going to peel off the backing and stick those edges there. And these are going to help that uh, string to stay put. I did left my white thread to be quite loose at the front and now I'm going to chop off the excess at the back and peel off all the backing. Now I have another panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half made out of the same cardstock and I'm just going to place the panel directly on top 
and I do have a tiny little thread picking out which I am going to chop off with my scissors. So I have everything nice and neat. You can of course leave those uh, stockings hanging out and uh, being quite loose. I decided to add a small foam tape at the back and just secure them at the panel. Now I am going to use a die cut word as my sentiment and this is uh, the word wishes from the holiday script dies. I used white cardstock to cut it out and I'm sticking the, everything down with my nouveau glue pens and I'm also going to add the little dot on top of the eye. And now all I have to do is to stick this whole panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is a close-up look on all this beautiful background. I absolutely love this. And that was the project for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. Don't forget that as always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for visiting today and see you next time.